In terms of an insurance carrier's ability to take advantage of the data today, it would be very difficult. Uh, manufacturers are giving various names to these features. It's really not in a manufacturer's interest to provide consistent naming around ADAS features. As a matter of fact, there's a certain marketing cachet that comes with their naming convention, so it's really not in their interest to standardize around names. But the carrier needs to know that OEM number one's technology package 301A is equivalent to OEM number two's CitySense package. Luckily, LexisNexis has been doing things like that, this for years. We take over a million violation codes from the 50 states and we standardize them down into almost 600 SVC codes. It's a very similar effort with ADAS features and OEM build data, where we take all of those features from the various OEMs and normalize them down so that carriers can use that information consistently across vehicles. What's available immediately today is a vehicle history product. And this is where um, carriers can begin building their expertise around the vehicle, really expand what they're using in their vehicle rating to understand what has happened over the lifetime of the vehicle. In 2019, when we released build data, that gives the, manu the carrier the opportunity to understand what happened when the vehicle rolled off the assembly line. And then when you combine that with connected car data, which is what's happening to that vehicle on a second-by-second -second basis, that gives sort of a cradle-to-grave uh, overview of what's happening with the vehicle, and it's going to be really important to a product manager and insurance company to understand that full lifespan of the vehicle.